So here's a question I get all the time from new real estate agents, either in commercial real estate or residential real estate, young, usually young people, occasionally some older people entering the business of real estate brokerage for the first time. So they'll, you know, the question is what can I do or what's the best way to enter into commercial real estate as an agent or real estate agency as a residential agent, real estate brokerage as a residential agent? You know, what's the best way to enter? What can I do to position myself for success? So um, it doesn't really matter. In commercial real estate, uh, it is more about specialization of the types and class of property. So you want to pick a niche and specialize in it, whether it's office, retail, multifamily, self-storage, industrial, land. Um, you might be able to cross over in a couple, but generally the more you specialize in commercial real estate, the better off you're going to be. So you want to specialize in one type, one class. Well, you can have multiple classes in a type, but definitely one type. Um, you want to start out in a market. You want to know it. You want to own it. You want to be the go-to for that type of property in that market. Then you can expand uh, across the country with the type of asset, depending on what it is that you're dealing with, especially when it comes to um, like triple net leases, um, even build the suits or uh, multifamily office retail. You can generally move about the country for people looking to invest in those types of deals. But first and foremost, you got to become an expert on the asset type, the classes, um, and the markets, and and you want to become the go-to resource for those types of properties and classes of assets in those markets. So that's number one, position yourself as an expert, find a niche, focus on it, become the go-to person, the expert on that niche. Uh, residential real estate, kind of the same thing. You wanna be an expert in your market. You wanna focus generally depending on your area, your demographic, you can pick like an area that you can be the go-to agent in that area. If you're in a small market, you can, you can you know, you're gonna have to broaden that reach and specialize. Uh, sometimes you can focus on a price point. If you're in a big market, you can pick price points and be the go-to for those price points. In smaller markets, you're gonna have to be a little bit more diversified. But the key is you need to be a resource. You need to be the person that people seek out for everything, anything, everything real estate, not just buying and selling, but anything. If they need a handyman, if they need uh, local community information, if they need um, you know, a reference for a marketing person, whatever it is, you want to put together a website that has resources of local service providers. You want to have a, um, a social media presence that puts out community information, valuable community information about events and activities and things that are going on in the community, um, as well as market reports, real estate information, things like that. So you want to become the go-to resource, the go-to expert in your community, in your market, in your area, where everybody comes to you for everything, referrals, um, you know, anything. What's the great, what's the best restaurant to eat at for a Mexican? What's the best place for steak? Uh, where do you go to get your car fixed? Who can you trust for, you know, auto, auto repairs? So um, dealerships, where, who's the best dealer in town? Those types of things. So you want to make sure that you leverage yourself with that. You want to present that information to your community, be a valuable resource in the community for anything and everything that people need, pet grooming, pet sitting, whatever it is. Um, commercial real estate, pick a niche, be the expert in that niche, specialize in it, focus it, learn it inside and out. So the key to all of this, it, and you hear me say it over and over in a lot of my videos, it's about educating yourself, developing yourself, and becoming an expert in your field. People want to do business with people that are experts, that know what they're doing, that gives them comfort that they're in the right hands. They also want to do business with people that provide them with the right information at the right time for what they're looking for. So if you can solve those problems, if you can be that resource and that person, you will be light years ahead of the competition out there and it will set you apart from the pack.